What's up team? In this vlog we're going to be talking about setting goals for 2019 and beyond. Let's get to it team. Alright team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero here, and if you hang around to the end of the video, I guarantee you're going to get some information that if you employ, it is going to change the results for 2019 for the better and change them exponentially for a lot of people. So the first thing we want to talk about is focus. I want to tell you a story about a guy named J. Pierpont Morgan. And for those of you who don't know who J. Pierpont Morgan is, he was a stock market investor in the early 1900s. At one point, he owned all of the cotton in America. It wasn't for very long, maybe a few few hours to a few days or something like that. But he had cornered the market on cotton. He, he was a commodities trader and he owned all of the cotton. But anyway, what J would do and i don't remember what what jay stood for maybe it was james or I, I don't know it doesn't matter but anyway so what he would do is is once a year at the end of the year at the end of december he would go to the bank and he would have them lock him in the bank vault with all of his money so he would take a lunch box <laughs> And, and, and he would go into the vault and they would lock him in the vault for like 24 hours or something like that. It would just be him, his lunchbox, maybe a pen and a pad, and all of the money that he had accumulated over the previous years. And he would just be in this vault looking at this money and touching it and smelling it and, 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 and thinking about what he did to earn all of that money. How much money he made, how much money he lost. But the most important thing he would do is he would think about what he would do in the next year how could he how could he get better results next year than he did last year in the year before that in the year before that in the year before and then so on and so forth all the way back to when he first got started and this leads me to another character that that i really like and i really follow is Jim Rohn and Jim Rohn both of these guys they've long since passed away but I feel like Jim Rohn is still here I feel like me and him have conversations whenever I have a question about something I can go to Jim and Jim will give me the answer it's not always what I want to hear but it is typically most of the time the truth and what Jim Rohn says is he says start with the end in mind and of course Jim Rohn learned from a bunch of other different people in the self-help space and self-help community and if those of you who are who are into that kind of stuff you know these people that I'm talking about and those of you who don't you can look them up at some point in the future but stick with me because this is all going to make sense Jim Rohn talks about starting with the end in mind so it, so somebody Jim said you know somebody come to me and they say Jim you know how do I get started in this business or how do I get started in this new career or how do I get this new job or how do I do this thing Jim would say what is it that you want to achieve how is it that you want to live what kind of car do you want to drive what kind of house do you want to live in? what kind of furniture do you want it to have do you want it to have a home theater or a bowling alley or a swimming pool or a greenhouse think about those things and then from there you go what do I have to have in order to have those things I need maybe I need to have a certain amount of money or maybe I need to have a business or maybe I need to have X amount of streams of income or all these different things it's like okay these are the things I need and those becomes different things that you want to achieve I want to achieve this amount of income I want to achieve having a business I want to achieve having this and having that and then you've got things that that you that those things will afford you nice houses nice cars this that and the third also Jim says think about the life you want to live how you want to be remembered how do you want people to think about you when you enter a room when we begin to think about those things we begin to think in a whole different kind of way so now we're thinking about what we want our future to be that is going to to pull us along when we're working in the present so if we know that in 2019 we want to double our income if we just think double my income I gotta double my income I want to double my income I want to double my income then we begin to think about the different things we have to do to do that maybe it's learn this new programming language or learn how to build this item or learn how to start a business or learn how to how to build an application or, or whatever it could be it could be anything and, and when you arrive on that thing that thing is called the vehicle and it's gonna drive you to where you want to go that vehicle may involve getting a promotion or getting your first client or, or or whatever but now you're in this vehicle and you commit to that vehicle there's another person that I follow named Grant Cardone and Grant Cardone says you want to 10x your goal so what you do is you take the goal that you have and you multiply that by 10 so if you have a financial goal where you want to where you want to make a hundred thousand dollars in 2019 you say I want to make a million dollars in 2019 and what you do is you aim for that million dollars and if you fall short that's fantastic hopefully you'll be more than a hundred thousand dollars but you may not be all the way at a million but 
it's better than nothing for sure. I'm sure we all can agree on that. So we've decided what it, what, how we, how it is we want to live and what it is we want to do and we've devoted ourselves to it and we've 10 x our goals. Now what do we do next? This, this, is, this is one of the most important things. The first thing we need to do is we need to write down our goals and we need to write them down on a regular basis. So every day we want to get out a, a pen and paper at least once a day and we want to write down our goals. Grant Cardone says, hey, you need to do this morning afternoon and at night and at the very least you want to do it in the morning when you wake up you want to write down your goals you want to make it one of the first things you do if not the very first thing you do and at night before you go to bed you want to write down your goals again and this does two things in the morning when you write down your goals you are laying out your purpose for the day I'm awake I'm here on the planet Earth to do this thing right here. This is it. And before you go to bed at night, you're telling the universe, this is what I'm here to do. This is the thing. Then your subconscious mind works on that while you're sleeping. You have all kinds of ideas. You wake up the next day and you're like, hey, I, I, maybe maybe, maybe I should try this. And then you can do your research and, and you can decide this is the path you want to take or the path you don't want to take. So after we've written down our goals, what we have to do is we have to map out our time. How are we going to use our time to help us achieve these goals? Let's say we want to get healthy. And, and, and this means that by the in 2019, we want to be able to do 100 push-ups or something like that. So we can go out and we can do some research. We can figure out how to get to 100 push-ups by the end of 2019. And there's going to be all kinds of information about all anything it is we want to learn or we want to do. We just decide, okay, this looks like a plan. This is the plan I'm going to follow. And then we lay that out in the schedule. On Monday, I do this. On Tuesday, I do this. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then you start all over again. And if you do that 52 times, which there's 52 weeks in a year, then by the end of 2019, you will have achieved your goal. If you set out the plan now, if you 10 extra goal, right? If say your plan was to do 100, if you 10 extra goal and you're like, I'm going to do a thousand pushups, I'm going to be able to get out and do a thousand pushups by the end of 2019. That's a lot of pushups. That's a pretty big goal. If you're working towards a thousand, you're going to land at a hundred more than likely. Like the odds of you hitting a hundred are very, very high. We got the plan. This is these are the things that I want to do in order to in order to reach this certain level by the, the by the end of 2019. And then you just map out the, the you map out the week. You start on Sunday and you go on Monday. I need to get this done. I need to get this done. I need to get this done. And you incorporate all the other stuff you got to do in your life. You got to pay bills, of course. You got to pick up the kids, of course. You got to take out the trash, of course. You got to do these things. Just put them in your schedule. Do this. Then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. And now at the beginning of every day for the for the for the you know what you need to do for that entire next week. And then you break them down by days on Monday. I'm going to do this and so on and so forth. And we talked about that. So once you have it all broken down by days now at the beginning of every day, you know what it is you need to do. And you work towards doing those things and you make your goal, your daily goal to complete the things on the list. That is going to determine how you organize the list. It's called the Eisenhower method. And in the Eisenhower method, and I don't know if Eisenhower really came up with this. This is just this is what it's called. The things you want to do are broken down into four quadrants. You have the things that are important and urgent. So they are important to, to the goals you want to achieve. And the sooner you do them, the better. The next thing you have is are things that are important, but they are not urgent. These are things that you want to do that you need to do, but they don't really have a set time frame for you to do them. And you get to, you can choose what that time frame is, but you know, they need to be done. Now, along with that, I would say that you should probably apply a time frame to everything because according to Prado's principle, the more time you give to do a particular thing, the more time you're going to take. So if you really, if you're really organized, you can fit a lot of things in a in a in a, a a short period of time. Now next in the in the quadrant you have things that are urgent but not important, right? So these are things that that they they have to be done by a certain a certain date or a certain time, but they're not necessarily they they they're not important to to you maintaining the lifestyle that you want to live right now in this current moment. Uh it, they they aren't they if you don't get them done, they aren't detrimental to the life that you want to live 
in the future. These things, they come last because you want to do your most important things that need to be done right away and they're the most important. Then you can focus on the things that are important, but they don't have a schedule. And then you've got the things that are unimportant. They aren't going to help you meet your overall goal. At the very last quadrant, you have things that are unimportant and not urgent. And these are things that and I don't remember if Eisenhower said it or what, but these are things that you probably shouldn't even worry about doing. Maybe someday when you have free time and nothing else is going on and you're just bored, these are the things that you can do because they're just, they maybe they're fun or they're entertaining or they're whatever. But if they don't align with your goals that you want to achieve in a certain period of time, then those things can pretty much be left off of off of the table and that tells you how to organize how to organize the th your your things you want to do in order to put them on your daily list so you've got things that need to be done next week they need to go on the next week and depending on when they need to be done in the week you can schedule them this needs to be done on monday because it has to be done by the end of Monday and this has to be done by the end of Tuesday and you have complete control over that nobody else controls those things if you're working a full-time job when you get off work and you're off the clock you have complete control of the other 16 hours of the day so hopefully that is going to help you level up your game in 2019 and this is a part of the application that I am building is a part of the Code 365 Startup Lab. It's gonna be a series of applications that are gonna that that are gonna be tied together, and they're gonna talk to each other, gonna work with each other in order to help me and you and anybody else who wants to plan out what it is they want to accomplish and then come up with a plan for that and then to to do their work and track their work. So you can say, I need to do this task. You can open the app and you can pick that task and you can focus on that thing for a specific period of time. Um, and, and, and I'm thinking of working in some sort of gamification to it so you can sort of challenge yourself and beat yourself, all different kinds of things. But we're going to be releasing this in 2019 as well. And we're going to be coding it together for those of you who joined the Code365 Startup Lab. And you can find that over at uh, Code365StartupLab.com if you're interested in joining that thing. If you're interested in the beginnings of web development, learning from the beginning, then you can head over there also code365startuplab.com and there's a bunch there's some free courses primers to to that will introduce you to computers and web development and html and css and javascript and all these other things and i'm working on new videos uh right now that are going to be uploaded to that site so get in there sign up for for a course that you think is interesting now and when the new ones come you'll get an email saying hey there's something new out all right team i hope that sets you up for success in 2019 and of course we're going to be coming back to these topics again and again and again and again and talking about them in order to help each other grow and prosper and achieve the things that we want to achieve both in 2019 and well on into the future team Thank you for hanging out with me here. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. I can understand that I'm not for everybody. Leave some comments below so I know what you think. I know what you want to hear. I know what you want to talk about. I want to, and you guys get to talk to each other and meet each other and collaborate on things and really help each other grow. Also, subscribe to the channel if you like me, you like my style. Hit the red subscribe button and then next to it, there's going to be a bell. You're going to click that bell and you're going to say, yes, I want to receive notifications. And whenever a new vlog comes out, a new video is uploaded to this channel, you will be notified and we can hang out again together and we can do this all over again and help each other become better versions of ourselves all right team that is it for this vlog i'm the real casadero your biggest fan and i will see you in the next vlog